Uh, welcome to Bridge uh, Daily Connect. Today I'm here with my daughter Haley. How you doing, Haley? Fine. Excellent. There's my microphone thumb. So we want to talk today about attitude, and maybe some some of you have found that attitude can be a struggle when you're all stuck in a house together for prolonged periods of time and you need a little something extra. One of the struggles in our house is sometimes not everybody does the dishes, right, Haley? Tell us about that. Yeah, well, when I was here. Yeah, when you were here, what happened? I, I went in the kitchen and I was doing dishes and I was like, I was annoyed. I was like, why doesn't everyone just do their dish? Cause then uh, there wouldn't be as many dishes to do. Like and, the dish please. And dad responded. Like, with. Right. So I came in and said, look, you know what I do when I see that somebody hasn't done the dishes mm -hmm. and we're a little strange at our house sometimes, mm -hmm. we'll make up songs on the fly. And so I made up a song and said, Jesus serves like I serve. I'm going to serve like Jesus serves. Jesus serves. So I serve. I'm going to serve like Jesus serves. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? And so um, I just came up with that. And, and so uh, I corrected my daughter with a song and told her if she sang, she'd have a better attitude when she did the dishes mm -hmm. and didn't try to judge people for not doing them but at any rate but then the next day so i was convicted but i walk in and i saw my dad in the kitchen and he was like there's so many dishes i'm gonna go on strike i'm done and i was like dad jesus sir so i serve i'm mm -hmm. sir like jesus serves and so my dad realized where he had gone wrong well you know the song as catchy as it is that little jingle is is less exciting when you're the one that mm -hmm. somebody's singing it to because you realize that my uh, hypocritical attitude the, the second day was less excited about serving and doing dishes when I realized that I was the only one doing them. And uh, so my daughter corrected me with the same song. And then what, what's transpired is... As the week went by, um, as I saw my dad living out his life, I would notice things. And so <laughs> whenever he wasn't having a good attitude or was, you know, kind of being selfish. You were kind of being the Holy sing, Spirit, I taking his sing, role. I would sing the song and say, Jesus, sir, so I say, I'll say, like Jesus. And every time my dad's face would change and he'd be like, ah. Oh. And so we'd have to. It was say, a great reminder. Mm -hmm. And in the same way, when I saw Haley come in and complain about something like, why are we eating this for dinner? I would give a little, you know, I didn't even have to sing the song. I just hummed the tune. Do, 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 do. And then she would realize the error of her ways. And now I even, if the little girls or um, anyone else in our family does it, we can Capri, sing the song. Sky, Capri, Sky, Sandra, Jesus, Sarah, anybody. Sarah, right. They don't really have the same response, but. So. Well, I'm not going to judge, but yeah. <laughs> so uh, at any rate, um, you, the the jingle's been fun. So uh, if you're thinking about a what about you and me, you can, you can memorize that jingle or make your own at home and just hum it because even uh even if you some find it irritating it, it does remind you gosh i want to serve like christ serves and i don't always do it so hope this has been helpful to some of you enjoy this uh on your uh COVID holiday and any final words Haley? back to you no okay signing off uh thank you so much uh, bridge daily connect